everybody today's video has two things it has exercise and it has beauty now the exercise as you may be able to see is going to come in the form of cycling and the beauty well it's not coming from me it's coming from beautiful Taiwan If you haven't already guessed, we are back in Fengyuan and we are at the Dongfeng Green Bicycle Path and we are going to be cycling 12 kilometers uphill to Dongshi. Now luckily for me, I have my own speed machine bicycle, but if you don't, as you can see behind me, there is a bike rental shop, plenty of them in fact, and for a couple of hundred dollars you can rent yourself a bike for the day if you don't already have one. And and if you want to spend a little bit more, they even have electric bikes, tandems, and even four-wheel car bikey things. But as I said, I have my own bike. So let's get to it. Let's start eating into those kilometers. So we're about four kilometers into the ride now, so I think that's about time for a lesson, right? As you may or may not have noticed, I like to link my videos somewhat, and we can link today's exercise adventure to my previous earthquake video, because this bike path is only here as a direct result of the 921 earthquake, because the 12 kilometer long path actually used to be a railway that linked the mountainous areas of Dongshi with the city and town areas of Fengyuan and Taichung. And the railway was built back in 1958, firstly to help transport thousands of tons of red cypress trees that were being felled in the mountains, but then the railway played an integral role in transporting millions of tons of materials in order to help build the Shigang Dam that we will come to later. But as you can see from the twisted tracks behind me, the earthquake absolutely ripped the railway apart and rendered it useless. It was only then after the earthquake that the government, local authorities, decided to turn the old railway into this beautiful bike path that we're riding today. This steep hill behind me was apparently completely level before the earthquake but now as you can see it's anything but level scary Shigong Dam, one of five dams along this river, which I'll come to later. Not the biggest, not the tallest, but not the smallest or shortest either. So, just sharing with you, Shigong Dam. Pretty impressive. On with the journey. Let's go! Okay, so we are 
are six kilometers over halfway into the journey and we have arrived at the Maids Bridge which crosses the Daja River. Now, unlike the dam earlier, which I knew very little about, I do actually have some interesting facts about this Daja River. Did you know that the source of the Daja River is up in Hehuansan and Nahusan, 12,000 feet above sea level. That's 4,000 meters above sea level. And the river itself runs for 124 kilometers through the central part of Taiwan until it dumps into the Taiwan Strait somewhere out near Da'an, Dajia district. One more interesting fact about my life in Taiwan, the first piece of advice I ever received from a Taiwanese person was from my agent Andrew. And Andrew, his first advice to me when I came to Taiwan, don't swim in the Dajia River. Andrew, I never did. Hope you're proud of me. Beautiful here. Let's get on the bike, finish this ride. Is it Dong Shiren? Yeah, it's in the bag. If there's one thing Dong Shi is famous for, it's its fruit. And after a good nine kilometers bike ride, fresh oranges by the side of the road cannot be beaten. Mm. Mm, this is very good. Thank you, bye bye. So yes, as I mentioned, Dong Shi is famous for its fruit and also famous for its people. As you can see there, a uh, short stop to buy some oranges ended up as a five minute conversation uh, about where I come from, if I'm married, if I have any kids, how long I've been in Taiwan, how much money I make, but nothing rude at all about the questions. Just a really genuine resident interested in a person from another country. Let's take a five minute break, enjoy this orange. Good, thanks. <laughs> Hello. Is this your channel? Yes, this is me. <laughs> Did you see before? Yes. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, like two weeks ago. Cool. Nice to see you. Bye bye. Maybe today we'll have one more new video. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. bye. Well, well, well. First time somebody recognized me from my channel. Am I famous? Who knows? Let's get on with the bike ride. Let's get to Dongshi. Okay, so we've arrived in Dongshi after that 13 kilometers uphill cycle. First thing first, coffee. Someone sit down, have a chat. Okay, so 
So we've made it to Dongshi, and the bicycle path actually ends up at the rather impressive Hakanese Culture Museum that used to be the Dongshi train station before the earthquake came and destroyed the railway. And it's beautiful here. It's actually become like a local park community center where the locals of Dongshu come and spend their lazy Sundays a little bit like today. It's really nice and actually brings back some really fond memories of my quiet, peaceful life that I used to live here in Dongshu. But anyway, enough reminiscing, time to get back. I've got a 12 kilometer return journey ahead of me, but as it's downhill and you've already seen all of the scenery, I'll whiz through that for you in a moment. All that's left for me to say is that if you are already in Taiwan and you're looking for something healthy and different to do on a weekend, then get yourself down to the Dongfeng Green Bicycle Road. You really won't regret it. The scenery and the fresh air is definitely worth it. If you do make it here, I have three recommendations for you. Recommendation number one, don't be a dummy like me and forget your water. You will need water. Recommendation number two, if you see the lady selling oranges around about the eight or nine kilometers marker, go say hello, buy her oranges. You won't regret it. Absolutely delicious. And my final recommendation number three, at the end of your long uphill slog from Fengyuan to Dongshi, definitely reward yourself with a coffee from inside the culture center. It is pretty good. As usual, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, then consider doing it now. Come on the journey with us and I'll see you next time in my life in Taiwan. the journey back would be boring but if you're still here to the very end consider yourself a VIP and put a comment below I'm VIP and everybody who didn't watch to the end will have no idea what we're on about thanks for watching see you next time